Hello, I'm Rob Richmond with Crutchfield and uh, we're setting up a PA out here in the rain and we'll just sort of walk you through the parts of it. So uh, basic PA setup. Uh, everything starts at the microphone from inputs to outputs. So a basic microphone like the SM58, a good solid vocal microphone. You want to have as many of those as you can carry um, connected to your XLR cable that runs all the way back to your mixer. Today we're using uh, the Behringer X Air. This is a rack mounted unit which is fully controlled wirelessly. Uh, by uh, your tablet device. Uh, today we're using an iPad for that. Uh, and the outputs of that can go into two different sort of categories. You've got your main outputs and your auxiliary outputs. Our main outputs are running out of the mixer into our subs, the Yamaha DXS15s. And there's an internal crossover in that that's passing it up to our Yamaha DXR12s. Uh, so all of our high and mid frequencies are coming out of the top. All of our sub and low frequencies coming out of the bottom. And out of the auxiliary outputs uh, from our mixer are going down to the DXR10s, the Yamaha 10-inch monitor speakers, also powered. Uh, eliminates the need for having a, an amp rack. So uh, it's going to lighten your load if you're loading in and out. Um, keeps a very nice compact system, very powerful. Uh, and that basically traces all of our inputs to outputs. You just sort of reproduce that path for every input you want, whether it's from vocal, guitar, drums, keyboards, whatever you've got on stage. And now such so some general ideas of where you might want to place uh, some of your important equipment. For example, if you've got your mixer, you've got generally two mix positions, one from side of stage and one from out in front. Uh, this particular mixer, uh, because it's wireless, gives us the option to do both. We can walk around in front with the iPad so we get what's being heard uh, by the audience, but we can also be at side of stage to assist the musicians with uh, their monitor mixes. Um, your subs and your mains, you want to keep them in front of your microphone line for vocals. So whatever the front line of the stage is, you want to get that out to the front and to the corners. And ideally, and today is not an ideal situation because we're out in the rain, ideally you want to keep those disconnected from the stage. Uh, the subs are going to rumble and send a lot of sound back through the stage which can go back up through your microphone stands and cause low frequency feedback. So you definitely want to try and isolate your subs if you can. So it seems really complicated because it, a big band might have a ton of inputs and a lot of outputs, a lot of monitors, a lot of speakers out front, but just remember everything is repetitive. A single input you can trace back to a single microphone. Troubleshooting may seem really complicated and a system may be very extensive, but everything is as simple as an input to an output. And if you have any questions, you can always contact us at Crutchfield and we'll answer any of your questions that you might have.